Hey you guys, good morning. It's me, Lemo, from ADHD Aquatics. And our betta fish are on the way. Do you guys remember when I said no more fish for four weeks? Well, I said that after I bought these betta fish. Mean Wayne bought nine betta fish, I think, or eight from Indonesia. One of them was already dead when they got to the first trans shipper in Indonesia, which was one of my favorite ones. It was like a white and red one. But the rest are pairs that I can breed, like really cool colors that they don't have here. I need gas. Um, but I signed up for notifications for the shipping and it says that it got to the local Ogden facility at 8.30. Wayne says normally his packages get there around 10 or 11, and it's 9.30 now. So I'm grabbing gas, I'm gonna grab my Breens and Brews. I'm gonna head over to American Stone and grab a piece of slate, because there's a surprise happening at Wayne's house today. Fishy surprise. I got off work last night at like midnight or like 1 a.m. Wayne stays up late because um he his job is like a nighttime job. So we talked on the phone about fish for like two hours. <laughs> it was insane. But we came up with all these big plans for fish. So there's a surprise happening today. Let me get gas and then I'll see you guys at Wayne's house. I forgot my buckets. I gotta get buckets for the surprise. I forgot to tell you guys that me and Wayne are gonna have crumpets and tea. Except for Wayne said he doesn't have any tea. But I do. He's gonna have coffee probably, but I'm just gonna bring the tea just in case. Maybe he'll make me a cup. I'll have a cuppa. <laughs> that was funny. He was like, yeah, come over. We'll have tea and crumpets. He said it like ironically like to poke fun at the stereotype and I was like that's great So I gotta run back to the house real quick grab the buckets then go to Breen's and Brews then go to American Stone and get some slate The FedEx thing did not say out for delivery yet. It just said add the local thing So hopefully it's not out for delivery and it is still at the local Ogden FedEx thing. Hopefully I have time. They didn't have any slate. They sold me a slice of flagstone. He said that fish tank people come in all the time and get flagstone. So I'm not really satisfied with that, but we'll see what Wayne says. I hope she makes it. I do too. She's like ultra pregnant. Yeah. Loki. Let's get a Is it? Yeah. No, it says staples on the box. Oh, this is it. Nice. Here we go. Zum da da. <laughs> I hope they're alive. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope he's put. Heating packs in there like he said he was. Yep. Chang. Yep. I think this is the guy. Oh yeah. It's got um, what do you call it? Insulation. Yeah. That's like from Home Depot. <laughs> and the heat pack. Is it still warm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty warm. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. So Oh, here they are. Well, he does it different. Um, the girl that does ours in Denver puts paper in there, but it's all shredded. Yeah. And it's sort of better insulation than... Oh, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. 
it's like sealed. Sealed. Huh. Oh, there's a whole layer that we can. Who's that one? Uh, oh, that's the blue fringe. So that one's alive. Uh, another live one. Yeah, this two out of two. Yeah. The good start. I think that's a pair. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. That's free. I'm gonna forget their names. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the uh, red and white one. Yeah. His mate didn't make it. Or mate the mate didn't make it. Or that was the female. Ooh. That's nice. Yellow or gold one, huh? Yeah. Here's something I found on the web. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is yellow gold, which is my favorite jewelry metal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, do we want to take them out of bags or? Yeah. All right.
just got home and she didn't make it. Um, it was kind of sad. It's like a 20 minute drive. She just didn't make it. And then I got these pears acclimating. I guess we'll have to do this red and clear female with this metallic white platinum male. I got my two bumblebee yellow and black guys in here. And then the blue and whites are here. We also got some duckweed. And guppy grass. Hopefully I don't kill this guppy grass. It does good in Wayne's water over at his house. Should do okay here. We'll see. And we also got some beautiful mollies. I might put these in a cup and separate them out because we got some guppies too. <laughs> I also got this 3D printed by my friend see if it sinks it floats <laughs> it floats maybe that'll help the shrimp I don't know
And these are golden severum eggs. And I don't know if they're fungus up. I don't know if they're fungus up or infertile. But I'm going to put them in here because Wayne says that his severums keep eating the fry. So we'll see what happens. I'll put some methylene blue in. All right, now we'll just see what happens because those eggs look pretty white. I think I saw one tan one on there. Well, you guys, that's it for today. We got our bed of fish on the pool table. Um, hopefully they're gonna breed for us. We'll see what happens. We got several eggs in a five gallon with some methylene blue and a heater. They didn't look too good, so we'll see. And then um, we got some new mollies and guppies for our tank over there. This tank here, I found two more dead inside of it this morning, so I gave them some erythromycin. So far, over the last couple weeks, I've treated them with salt, levamisole, fin and body cure, and now we're trying erythromycin. The corridors are getting crooked spines and the guppies are still bent in half when they're dying. So, I might just have to nuke this tank. This is the only one that's giving me problems like this on this level. I took the dojo loaches out of this tank because the water was getting so cloudy with them. I'm guessing that dojo loaches are really, really dirty. So I put them down here. As soon as I put those five dojo loaches in this tank, the water got really cloudy. So I don't know if they have some sort of secretion or if they're really just messy. I don't know, but um, we might have to come up with a different solution for those guys.